Hey, it's Alyssa from Rome Wise, your go-to guide to Rome, here on the Palatine Hill with the Coliseum behind me to talk to you today about Coliseum tickets. Which ones to get, where to get them, and why it is so difficult to get the ones you want. If you're new to my channel, Rome Wise is your go-to guide to Rome, where I bring you the best of Rome and sometimes beyond, with lots of great things to see and do, wonderful places to eat and drink, and some secret spots along the way. So please consider subscribing, hit that like button while you're at it, and let's get this video started. Here we go. In the past few years, the Coliseum has been updating their ticketing rules quite a bit. There are some new ticket options, there are some things that don't exist at the moment, and some new rules. So let's dive in. All right, before we actually get into the tickets, I need to tell you that there is a very important new rule as of a couple of years actually, but uh, since people are just now coming back mostly this year, it's new for a lot of people. The first thing you need to know, the first rule that has changed considerably from previous years is that it is no longer possible to purchase your Coliseum tickets on site. You need to book your tickets in advance and you have to book, there is no just showing up. Um, you can probably book for the same day, but I wouldn't chance it in high season. They actually do sell out. There are two options for booking in advance. One is online and the other is by phone. I have more details about this in the description below and of course on the page on the website. The second thing you need to know about getting Coliseum tickets is that no matter which one you get, they are for a specific date and time. What are the different tickets that you can get for the Coliseum? Basically, there are tickets for standard entry, full experience, and night visits. There is a fourth ticket which does not include the Coliseum and only includes the Roman Forum and the Palatine Hill, and I will touch on that a little bit later. But first, I wanna focus on these three types of Coliseum tickets. Starting with the easy one, the most basic kind of ticket, the standard entry ticket. The standard entry ticket costs 18 euros for adults. There are some discounts and options for free tickets, which I do go over on the website, but for the purposes of this video, I just wanna talk about what the standard entry ticket includes. When you buy a standard entry ticket, you get to visit the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, and the Palatine Hill where I'm standing, all visitable within a 24-hour period. I often get asked if it's possible to visit the Roman Forum, Palatine Hill, on the day prior to your Colosseum visit, or even on the morning prior. Yes, absolutely you can. The visits have to be within 24 hours of each other. So if your timed entry to the Colosseum is at noon on a Wednesday, for example, you can visit the Roman Forum, Palatine Hill, that's one park, uh, and there's no re-entry. You can visit that park anytime from noon the prior day all the way up until 11.59 a.m. on the following day. I do find most people tend to visit the Colosseum and the Roman Forum Palatine Hill on the same day, especially if they're doing a tour. But you absolutely can break it up over the same day, take a lunch break in between, or over two days, just stay within 24 hours of your Colosseum entry time. And about that entry time, you have around 15 minutes on either side of it, so don't be wildly outside of your entry time or you might not get in. The last thing that I want to tell you about the standard entry ticket is that it is eligible for use with the Roma Pass and with other city passes. So whether you decide to include the Coliseum as one of your free sites with one of these city passes, the Roma Pass, the Turbo Pass, some other pass, you still need to book the Coliseum, which is free, but there is a two euro booking fee. I know, <laughs> it doesn't make sense, but that's the way it is. All right, the next type of ticket we are going to go over is the full experience ticket. This ticket is 24 euros for adults and includes entry into the Coliseum, a special visit in the Colosseum, which I'll go over in just a moment, the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill, and all the super sites on the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. The full experience ticket is not eligible for use with the Roma Pass or any other kind of city pass. With the full experience ticket, because there are so many things to see, you actually get 48 hours to see them. What are the super sites? Well, I've done a few videos about these super sites, so you can check those out. They are special extra sites on the Palatine Hill and inside the Roman Forum that you cannot visit with a standard entry ticket. Sometimes the super sites are closed because it's just their closing day. For example, the House of Augustus is closed on Mondays. 
Other times it is because they are renovating a site. At the time that I'm making this video, they are renovating the Palatine uh, Museum, but whatever is open, you can visit with your full experience ticket. So I said that the full experience tickets include a special visit at the Coliseum. So let's get into that. There are two kinds of special visits that you can do with the full experience ticket. They both cost the same, 24 euros. The first type of full experience ticket includes a visit to the arena floor of the Coliseum. I've done a video for you about this. It is a fantastic visit. I highly recommend it. It is special. You get to walk out onto the arena floor and you can look right down into the hypogeum or the underground of the Coliseum. It also includes, of course, a visit to the rest of the Coliseum. The second type of full experience ticket includes a visit to the hypogeum, the underground of the Coliseum. The underground visit also includes a visit to the arena floor. So once you're done with the underground, you come back up onto the arena floor and then you can continue inside the Coliseum. Yes, you heard me right. The full experience ticket costs 24 euros whether you visit just the arena or the underground and the arena. You might think that it is a better value to get the underground ticket at 24 euros than to get just the arena ticket, but honestly, these are both wonderful visits and I highly recommend them both. And even if you just visit the arena, it is well worth the 24 euros. As with all Coliseum tickets, your Coliseum visit is timed with a date, obviously, and you must show up on time for this visit. When you book one of these visits, whether it's the arena or the underground in the arena, you will be accompanied by someone from the Coliseum. It is not a tour per se, but you will be accompanied. If you want to book a tour, you can do so either through the Coliseum website or through an outside tour company. When you visit with the Coliseum staff, you will be left alone on the arena floor for about 20 minutes to take all the pictures you want, and then they they escort you back into the main areas of the Coliseum, and then you can stay there and explore at your leisure. And then with this ticket, as I said, you can visit the Roman Forum Palatine Hill, one park, and there is no re-entry. So if you really, really want to try to see all the sites on this park, you may want to do it on a different day than your visit to the Coliseum because they both wind up being pretty intense visits. One of the things that's new right now is that the Coliseum underground has been expanded and really excavated and it's super well presented. You used to be able to visit the underground of the Coliseum before COVID, but uh, it, was a, it was completely different. It was a much smaller space. And now you can see almost all of the underground. But if you don't get to visit the underground, I promise you, you can see quite a lot from just the normal um, rings of the Coliseum. And even from the arena floor, you can really, really see a lot. The visits to the underground are just fantastic. However, as I'm making this video for you, I know some of you are going to write me and say, but I can't get tickets. Why can't I get tickets? I made a video about visiting the Coliseum Underground when it had just opened and really there were no tourists here in Rome. So I got to go right when it opened and it was fantastic, but it has become more complicated since then. So we're going to talk about that in just a moment. I just want to tell you about the third type of Coliseum visit, which is the night visit. Visits to the Coliseum at night are a special kind of visit. They're not offered all year round, but they are offered quite often, in fact, even through winter. So just check the website for Co-op Culture and you'll see the dates for a given year. They are trying to offer them pretty much throughout the year, but they diminish the nights that they, that they do them in low season. When you visit the Coliseum at night, you do not get entry into the Roman Forum or Palatine Hill, and this is not available for use with any of the city passes. You guys, visiting the Coliseum at night is amazing. I don't have a video for you about that just yet, but I will. I do have a page about it on the website. When you visit the Coliseum at night, you get a tour and you will be taken to the underground and the arena floor. It's very quiet. There are usually one, maximum two tour groups in there, so it is a really exclusive and special way to see the Coliseum. People often ask me if I recommend seeing the Coliseum at night over seeing it during the day. I think if it's your first visit to Rome, I would try for a daytime visit so that you can also visit the Roman Forum and the Palatine Hill. However, if you decide to visit at night, you can buy a ticket to the Roman Forum Palatine Hill separately that doesn't include the Colosseum. As I mentioned, there is a fourth type of ticket which allows you access to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill Park but not the Coliseum. This ticket costs 18 euros for adults and allows you 
one day access to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill, which as I've explained is one park. It also includes access to all of the super sites on the Palatine Hill and Roman Forum. This super forum pass is good for 30 days from the date that you purchase it, and you can go pretty much any time within that time frame. The ticket is valid for one day and there's no re-entry, so you're going to want to plan your visit carefully. I've got pages on the website about the Roman Forum and about the Palatine Hill, and you can find out about the different sites there, including the super sites, so you can make a plan for how you want to approach your day. Because visiting the Roman Forum and the Palatine Hill and the super sites can be a pretty long day and you are going to want to plan it, I would suggest making sure you bring some sort of a snack with you. Yes, there are vending machines on the Palatine Hill, there is also a new cafe in the Roman Forum, but these are limited options, so maybe you want to bring something that you would like to eat. Can you guys see the sunset that is happening right now? It is just amazing. This is one of the fringe benefits of coming down here to film for you in front of the Colosseum. So this obviously is the perfect ticket for you if you do not want to go into the Colosseum. Maybe you've seen the Colosseum before, maybe you are planning to go on a night visit, or perhaps you just do not want to contend with the crowds. Also, because this ticket does not have a specific date and time, it can be a good option for those of you who don't like to have things too planned out. Another ticket people are asking me about is the visit to the third tier. They also used to have visits to the fourth and fifth tier for a brief moment in time. None of those visits are currently available. So in every single Colosseum visit that you do, any of them include the main level of the Colosseum and the second level, but the third, fourth, and fifth levels are being renovated and we do not know when they will reopen. All right, now that we've talked about the different kinds of tickets for the Colosseum, let's talk about how to get them. Now, when I say we're gonna talk about how to get tickets, I'm not talking about the part that I mentioned at the beginning of the video where I told you that you have to pre-book your tickets either online or via phone. I am talking about the fact that tickets, especially the ones that people seem to really, really want, like to the underground, um, and even just to the Colosseum itself, seem to be very elusive and, in fact, not available at all. I am getting so many messages from people. I am trying to book these tickets. Why can't I book these tickets? Why is there no availability? Uh, what's going on? Why is it so difficult? So let's get into that. I can explain a little bit about what's going on and hopefully this will help you to get the tickets that you want to get. All right, we'll start with the standard entry tickets since these are actually the easiest kind of tickets to get. Usually you should be able to buy these tickets on the Co-op Culture website, which is the ticketing agency for the Coliseum. You should be able to get these on your own uh, on Co-op Culture, even close to the day that you want to go, even the same day. But again, in high season, I would suggest booking these in advance if you can. So what to do if you cannot get regular standard entry tickets to the Coliseum? First of all, you can keep checking the Co-op Culture website because they only show availability for the near future and they might load more availability so just keep checking back. If you cannot find tickets that you want you can book on a third-party reseller. This is an absolutely legitimate way to get your tickets. I have links to these below. Yes you will pay a little bit more than you would if you book directly with Co-op Culture but you might find more availability that way. Also of course you can book a tour they take care of getting the tickets for you. And again, they may have more availability than you will find on the Co-op Culture website. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. Why is it so difficult to get tickets to visit the underground of the Coliseum or to get tickets to a night visit of the Coliseum? The first part of this answer involves the fact that any Coliseum tickets, the Co-op Culture website is not offering them more than a few weeks in advance. So if you're here in, uh, if you're coming in say December and you're looking to buy tickets for that trip in August, you simply will not see that availability on the Co-op Culture website. You'll have to keep checking. But that still does not explain why it is so difficult, if not impossible, to get tickets to visit the Coliseum Underground or to visit the Coliseum at night. The answer is really simple. It is supply and demand. These two visits are among the most popular, the most special, and there is high demand for them. At the same time, supply is very, very limited. I know from experience that when you visit the Coliseum at night, it's maybe one your tour group and one other tour group in there, uh, about 20 people each. So there is just very limited uh, availability for these visits. They do have them at different time slots. So it's not that um, only 40 people at a time can go visit the Coliseum on a given night, but it is still much more limited than 
for the tickets during the day. As for the underground, the space is limited and they just cannot accommodate this many people. The Colosseum is a, an ancient monument and it's delicate and the spaces underground are a little bit, they're not claustrophobic, but they're just a lot smaller. So again, there is just limited supply. One of the big problems up until recently has been the fact that some ticketing agencies and tour companies have these bots that as soon as tickets would become available online, they would just scoop them up so that they could use them to sell their tickets through their websites or to sell their tours. To try to mitigate this, the Coliseum has implemented a new rule. Now, when you book tickets to the full experience or for the Coliseum night visit, you have to provide your name. And when you show up for the visit, you must show ID. And the name on the ticket has to match your ID or you will not get in. Trust me, you will not get in. Now you may be wondering, okay, I can't see availability for these tickets, these highly sought after tickets, or even standard tickets for the dates and times that you want on the Co-op Culture website, yet you go to visit a third party reseller like Viator or Get Your Guide or Tickets, um, and you can see availability there. So what's going on? Are these legitimate? The answer is that these companies are selling you futures. They are planning to get these tickets when they become available, and when they do, they will be able to give you the tour that you booked. So if you're booking now for a few months in advance for the Coliseum Underground, and you can't see tickets on, uh, on Co-op Culture, but you book through a tour agency, they don't have those tickets yet, but they're planning to. Now, when the time comes, the company in question may not be able to get as many tickets as they've sold tours for. So what do they do? Most uh, tour companies, you know, they're legitimate and they're just trying to run a good business. They want to give you customer service, but they are also trying to maximize their, their offerings. And that means they may oversell some of these high request tickets. If a tour company cancels your tour, they should offer you a similar tour at a similar date and time. If they cannot or do not, offer you this or if what they offer you is not what you want similar to airline tickets you know um, company changes your ticket and they give you the option to back out of it and get the refund so if this happens take your money back and start over don't panic uh, just go on to cop culture start there and then look at other companies other websites for other tours or tickets that you may be able to get uh, closer to the date and even if you cannot get the tour that you want the underground or the night visit you should be able to get a standard entry ticket and at least you will be able to see the Coliseum I know this is a little bit confusing but <laughs> the answer is to just Accept the situation the way it is until or unless Co-op Culture is no longer the ticketing agent for the Coliseum, that could change. Um, but until then, just try to go with the flow and don't panic if your tour is canceled or if you can't find the tickets you want, keep checking back and just be, be determined and you will get a ticket of some sort. One last thing I wanna go over with you in this video is how to visit the Coliseum for free. I have briefly mentioned discounts and you can read a lot more about that on my dedicated pages on the website. I just want to touch on who can visit the Coliseum for free and when. Actually, also have a page entirely dedicated to this subject as well, so you can check that out. So briefly, anyone who's under 18 can visit the Coliseum and the Roman Forum and Powhatan Hill for free year round. But even if you are eligible for a free visit, you still have to book your visit to the Coliseum but not to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. There are some other people who are eligible for free entry, and again, that's on the website. Last but not least, there is the free Sunday. So on the first Sunday of every month, state-run sites such as the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, also Pompeii and other sites across Italy are free for everyone. This is one visit that you cannot book. It's first come, first served. So if you plan to come on the free Sunday, expect very long lines and big crowds. I usually recommend on the free Sunday to visit a site that's a little less popular than the Colosseum. But if you wanna go for free, that's the way to do it. I hope this has cleared up a little bit of the mystery for you. I also have a video all about visiting the Vatican. So check that out as well. See you guys at the next video. Ciao for now. Guys, I'm trying to make this video for you on site because I want you to see the Colosseum as background um, in the Palatine Hill. Tried to come at closing. It's super busy, it's super loud. There's a lot of traffic out there. So if you notice that the background of my video changes because I am gonna have to move to another spot because they're closing uh, the Palatine Hill, this is why. So a little behind the scenes <laughs> for you. Um, filming these videos for you. I put a lot of thought into it. I put a lot of thought into where is a good spot to film so that, you know, you have a really nice, <laughs> nice background. 
um, but it's it's complicated. Yeah, Palatine Hill is uh, popular and as I said, a lot of traffic down here, making a lot of noise, and of course they close at a certain hour. So I'm super grateful that people are here and tourists are here after the two years that we had of no, no tourists. Um, but yeah, it makes it challenging to find a really good time and place to film for you. So just a little behind the scenes action for you. Thanks for watching.